Are you tired of your tarantula burrow always collapsing and looking so ugly? Well, today we're going to make something that looks like this. A burrow that is super sturdy and is very less likely to be hitting as hard as I can to collapse. But for this, we're going to have to go outside to get some clay. Is this the only slipper that we have? Whatever works. Oh yeah. Which tool to take? This one would work. And then, we will also need a wheelbarrow. Please make sure that the place you're taking the soil is clean and that no pesticides had been sprayed. So here's my beautiful masterpiece from yesterday. And now we're gonna make it even worse. <laughs> Right, so now we're gonna have to get all of these into the wheelbarrow. And I have no idea where to put my phone, so... Let me fill up the wheelbarrow and I'll resume the video. A few minutes later... I guess that'll be enough for one enclosure. I also had to stop, because look at this thing. It just drops off, what the hell? Now I can't dig. This one would work. Anyways, I'm gonna get rid of all the grass and just leave the clay or soil. I think it's mixed with clay. Okay, so now you want to break it up as much as you can. So I'm just going to use this shovel. Why, hello, little guy. It's a little earthworm. Now we'll get some organic black soil. Pour it in like that. And then I'll just mix them all up together. Now that they're all mixed up, it's time to put them in the enclosure. Get out of here. So first, you want to fill up the bottom layer. No need to bother about the leaves. The earthworms will do what they do best, won't you? Okay, the key to a sturdy burrow is packing everything down. So make sure you pack everything as hard as you can. You can only do this when the clay is a bit damp. If it's too hard, it's too solid. That's why we do this when it's damp and then we leave it to dry. All right, once you've done that, you put a PVC pipe to the position that you want to angle it. I'm probably gonna do it like this. Just hold it into position, and then you surround it with clay. And be sure to pack it down as well as you go. Once you've secured the pipe with substrate, you can actually let go of the pipe and it'll stay. Makes work much easier. Alright, so this is how it currently looks like. I'll resume the video once I have filled up all the substrate. Okay, once you're satisfied with the amount of substrate that you want, you want to twist this pipe and slowly work its way out. Just like that. So as you can see, it made a perfect circular burrow. And the way I angled the pipe in the beginning, there's also a little window over here where I can see the tea if it's over here. This is only possible if you pack down the clay. If you don't, it's gonna be back to square one like the coconut fiber, collapsing down. So now it looks like an artificial burrow because it's you can see the line. You just wanna push it down. Make it even with the main level. Don't worry about the insides, the tarantula will web up everything inside, so it's gonna look like a natural burrow. This enclosure is gonna be for my cobalt blue, by the way. I'm just gonna be transferring three teas into an enclosure like this because those enclosures had mold, so I, I had to rehouse them anyways. But this will just be an experiment. If I come across mold in the future or anything that is bad, then I'll just switch them back to coconut fiber. But I'm doing this now because I think it looks pretty good. And because I angled the pipe in a slanting direction, the burrow is about 6 to 7 inches deep. Even though it looks like there is barely enough substrate. So you don't have to worry about that. Now it still doesn't look so naturalistic yet. So what you want to do is grab some coconut fiber and just sprinkle all around. What this does is it gives it the texture and it fills in all the nooks and crannies of the clay so it looks more naturalistic. Look at that, it's already looking so much better. And then to top it off, just get some forest moss and just sprinkle it everywhere. Just like that. Now we're gonna get some dry leaf litter and just 
sprinkle it in. So there's the enclosure guys. It's so simple to make, yet it looks pretty dang good in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. The burrow goes way down so the tea can be secure and we can watch it act as how it is in the wild, sort of. But we're not done yet. So because we grab soil from the outside, there may be ants running around. I've seen a few. So what you want to do is bring this and put it under the sun for a few hours. So what this will do is heat up the whole enclosure and make the ants feel uncomfortable, making them escape. Because you don't want ants in your enclosure, they can't harm the tea. So we're going to leave it there for about two to three, maybe four hours, and then we'll put the tarantula in. Five hours later. Oh man, it's about to rain. Better grab the stuff in. So as I mentioned, I'll be rehousing my cobalt blue in here. So let's get her ready. Get this piece of wood out first. She seems surprisingly calm today. Come on, girl. It's okay. We've got a nice enclosure now. I'm quite surprised at her behavior. Very well behaved today. Hopefully she will enjoy this new enclosure. Looks pretty good for her. Can't wait for her to utilize that burrow. It's gonna be awesome. So that is the new enclosure for my cobalt blue girl. All right, so I've created another enclosure. Same method, just smaller in size. And this one, we're gonna be rehousing my Selena Cosmia Javanensis, the Javan Yellow Knee. This one requires a little bit more caution. Bro. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. This cup is a little bit too small. Let her crawl up. Just like that. Place her over here. Fill up the water dish first before anything bad happens. I don't want to open this enclosure again. Okay, let's do this. Now you're being stubborn. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Why'd you gotta be like this, huh? Look at those fangs. Whoa. She is really mad. This will be a good thumbnail. Thank goodness she didn't break her fangs on the tongs. Hmm. Should have gotten straw earlier. But this girl is crazy, man. We'll leave her alone. Well guys, that'll be it for this video. If these two enclosures are a success, I will slowly transfer my other teas into something like this as well. I feel it's more naturalistic and it holds burrows really well. So I'm pretty sure the teas will enjoy it as well. Like I mentioned, these two are just an experiment. So if they fail, if mold starts to grow or anything bad happens, I will just get these two back on regular coconut fiber. So today's Patreon shout out goes to Joel. Tate D. Gibbs Julian Schneider Crimson Hopo Levy Mays So thank you guys for your Patreon support, I really really appreciate it. But yeah, if you guys liked this video or learned something from it, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't like it, thought it was boring, feel free to thumbs it down. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. If you'd like to support me through Patreon, there's a link in the description below together with the social media links. Really appreciate all of your support guys, I really do. So I guess there's nothing else to say in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and yeah guys, I will catch you guys in the next video.